Let us start with the first activity in our module 1A. So, I'll be providing answers or solutions for activities on every add numbers on the first activity. So, the first one, we have 4 times quantity x squared plus 5. So, this is a monomial times a binomial. So, how do we simplify this one? So, this just by distributive property. So, we now have 4 times x squared. So, that means 4 x squared. And then, we have 4 times 5. So, that is positive 20. So, the product on our first problem is equal to 4x squared plus 20. Next, on number 2, we have to multiply a binomial by another binomial. So, we can do this by uh, FOIL method or by distribution method or by a special product. So, let's try to do this by distributive property. So, we will distribute first. The first term, P times P, that will give you P square, and then P times 3, that will give you positive 3P, and then 5 times P, that will give you positive 5P. And then, 5 times 3, that will give you positive 15. Next, let's have to combine like terms. So, what are those? We have 3P and 5P. We can combine them as one. So, for our final answer, we now have P squared plus 3 plus 5. That will give you 8P plus 15. Alright. The same way for number 5. So we now have x times x. That will give you x squared. And then x times 6. That will give you positive 6x. And then 6 times x, that will give you another positive 6x, and then 6 times 6, that is equal to positive 36. And then, combined like terms, we have 6x and 6x, so that will give you 12x. The answer is now equal to x squared plus... 12x plus 36. Alright. Next, uh, number 7. The same process. We now have 2r times r. That is equal to 2r square. And then... 2r times 5, that is equal to positive 10r. And then, we have negative 1 here. Negative 1 times r, that is equal to negative 1r. Since that is just negative 1r, so we can write it here, minus r. And then negative 1 times 5, so that is equal to negative 5. So now, we have minus 5. The same process, we have to combine the, the like terms. What are those like terms? We have 10r minus r. So 10r minus 1r, that will result to 9r. So our final answer is now 2r square 
plus 9R minus 5. And for the last one, just the same with the previous three examples. So we can do this by distributive property. So we have 2D times 2D. So for our numerical coefficient, so we have 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. D times D, that will give you D squared. So 2D times 2D is equivalent to 4D squared. And then... <laughs> 2D times negative 7, that is negative 14. So, minus 14D. And then, 7 times 2D, that is positive. They are both positive, so we have plus 14D. And then, 7 times negative 7, positive times negative, that is equal to negative 49. Next is to combine the like terms. For our like terms, we have negative 14D plus 14D. They are the same numbers but different in sign. They are additive inverse. Negative 14D plus 14D, that will result to 0, so we can cancel this out. Alright? So the result is now equal to 4D square minus 49. So that is the simplified form for our answer in number 9. Let us proceed in the next activity of our module 1A. So in our activity 2, let's have to find if the given equations are linear or not. So how can, you, how can we identify if the equation is a linear? It is a linear once it is written in the standard form. Uh, Bx. I mean, ax plus b equals 0. This is the standard form of a linear equation wherein a and b are both real numbers and a is a numerical coefficient of our variable x. And x here has a degree or an exponent to 1. And then b here is a constant number all right so out of this given equations let's identify the linear equations uh the most obvious linear equation here is this one 8x minus 8 as equal to 120 take note that our numerical coefficient here is 8 our constant is negative 8 and the degree of our variable x is equal to 1 so let's select this one and move it here as a linear equation okay another one uh the first example this one w square minus 10 w plus 30 is this linear or not? Okay, this equation is not a linear equation. Why not? Uh, on the first place, hindi siya naging equation. Wala siyang equal sign. There is no equal sign. So the first uh, given is not a, an equation. Aside from that, this is not considered as a linear because we have a degree or an exponent 2. For it to be linear, dapat 1 lang yung or invisible 1 lang yung ating degree or exponent. So this one must be moved here because this is not 
a linear equation. Another thing is this one. 21p plus 20p equals negative 9. Let's consider the variable, the variable p, and then what is its degree? Okay, its degree is degree 1, or the indivisible 1. If we will simplify this one, 21p plus 20p, that will give you 1p, or just simply p. So p is equal to negative 9, that is still a linear equation. So this is an example of a linear exam, uh, equation. Okay, let's consider another one. Uh, we have here uh, 4x squared minus 49s equal to 0. Is this linear or not? Of course, this is not a linear equation since the degree of our variable x is equal to so this is not a linear equation. This is how we answer activity 2 of our module 1A. So the rest of the given here will be your task. Thank you.